Thank you. Um, I don't think people realize just how severe our crisis is. I have friends, colleagues, members of my um, hospital who cry before they come to work, cry when they leave work, because the workloads are so high. They are not providing the care that they were trained to give. We are morally injured. And it cannot continue. We need more nurses desperately. When you are waiting hours in any emergency, particularly when you're work waiting with a child, when our when Chio here was was built to see 120 children a day and is seeing 110 in an hour, when you have to bring in the Red Cross, which is a disaster service to help facilitate providing care to our children. What is it going to take for governments to realize that this cannot continue? Mm -hmm. Our most vulnerable are dying. In 2020, it was our elderly. In 2022, it's our children. We Fortunately, we haven't seen many deaths, but how long is it going to be before it's a regular occurrence? And this is unacceptable. This is Canada. I, I, my, I, I'm at times I'm lost for words as to why people are not listening. We've been shouting about this loud and long, and now it's critical. It's beyond critical. I've said before we're at the bottom of the barrel, but we're not. We're beyond that. We're below the bottom of the barrel. We scraped the barrel and we've broken through. So I, I, I don't know. I personally am, we're tired. We're working endless shifts. I have coworkers who've worked 12 out of 14 shifts. It's a regular occurrence to work 16 hours instead of 12. Vacations are not being granted. All these things speak to a lack of personnel and a lack of respect because we're expected to continue to do this. Um, children are waiting longer for surgeries than adults. They're waiting longer for surgeries than is, is healthy for them. Children, our, our CHEO ICU is at 200% capacity. We are sending children who are 14 and above to adult hospitals. These are not adults, these are children. This is stopgap measures that are not doing our children and their families any favors. It is, Im it is impacting their health negatively. They wait longer for mental health services. They wait longer for care in the communities. They wait longer for assistance, for f rehab, for physio, all the things that we take for granted. Why is this? This is not acceptable. These are our future generations. These are our future. And we are penalizing them because they are small and have no voice. And we're penalizing your healthcare workers because we are burnt out, we are tired, and we are morally injured message to politicians who are bickering over conditions, they're bickering over a price tag of a health transfer. What do you say to them when you have the stories you have? They need to sit down and, and actually listen to us and work with us because we haven't had that from any anyone, particularly my experience here in, in Ontario. We're not just um, when we're not just fear mongering. This is happening and we have the solutions. Some of them are short term because we need short term solutions to fix the crisis we're in currently. And some of them are long term to make sure that we don't end up in this crisis again. And a lot of it is to do with retention and respect, which we haven't seen any respect in healthcare for decades. And it's been blatantly obvious in the last two, three years. Um, we're not seeing, we're recruiting like mad and not retaining. So, that's a problem. And we've lost nurses who never intended to leave their career at this point. But because of these, the untenable work conditions, because of the workloads, because of their personal burnout and, and moral dilemmas, they're leaving. 
So we not only do we have valuable internationally educated nurses out there who are not working, we have valuable experienced, knowledgeable nurses out there who are also not working because they couldn't keep it up any longer. When they're taking jobs in Winners and Costco, instead of following a career, because that way they can get time off and they don't come home crying because they couldn't do what they needed to do for the patients they saw that day.